Hey guys, it's Janae here. So I'm going to be playing a game called Cool Story Bro. And as you can see, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's on Newgrounds. Um, I haven't been on Newgrounds in a really long time actually, so I'm kind of excited. But I'm just doing this as a test kind of, um, just to see how well my computer records and everything and all that junk. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Instructions. WSD, WSD, WASD to move, click stuff with the mouse, press space to skip messages, press enter to auto next, one, two, three to automatically see, automatically select the respective action, which I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's go. You wake up, devastation surrounds you. You blink your eyes, you remember nothing. Of course you are. Oh, you go? Oh, yeah, to click the arrows. Okay. Well. The dull scent of ash brushes across your nostrils as you walk through the rubble of some unknown disaster. Oh, tragic. On the horizon, you see a silhouette of a figure squatting beneath a sad excuse for a tree. That's rude. As you approach the figure, you see that it is not a man squatting, but a squat man. He is wearing long robes and a pointy hat. Hello there, traveler. How are you doing on this fine afternoon? Let's be optimistic. I say fine. Fine, I guess. Why don't you stop by for a minute to rest those weary feet? Alright. You sit down next to him and rest your weary feet. Dang, they're weary. So, what's your name, partner? Mine's Grimold. Oh, I guess my name is Jasmine. Jasmine. Grimold scrunches his eyebrows at you. Now that's a name I don't hear every day. What are you doing out here, Jasmine? I don't know. I woke up a little bit ago. Since then, I've just been wandering around. To tell you the truth, I don't know exactly what's going on. Well, we can sort all that out back at my place. Come on, I'll make you a warm pot of soup. Wait a second. How is your place not destroyed? Oh wait, wait a second. How is your place not destroyed? Grimmel does not wait around to reply. Just casually follow an old man. Oh, through a portal. Okay. Well, I guess I have to actually go there. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, sorry. Lost my place there. Go in. That was unsettling to say the least. It'll just be a minute. It's my old man voice. Aha! Grimo produces a hot kettle and offers you some delicious soup. Oh, how nice, Grimo. Oh, let me eat the soup. Mmm, delicious soup. After finishing your soup, Grimmel stares at you inquisitively. Good thing I can read. What were you doing out in those ruins? I could ask you the same thing. I was just poking around for something I lost. I sense a lot of dark energy in the area, and I thought it would be a good place to start. You lost something? What was it you lost? Ah, just a paperweight. At least I thought it was a paperweight. Do tell. Well, I was reading up on the material, the mating rituals of the Southern Forest Knoll when I became aware of an odd sound. <laughs> I cannot read. Uh, aware of an odd sound. What is that word? Eman em emanating? Is that right? Oh my gosh! Emanating from the corner of my desk. The stone orb which I had been using a paper. The stone orb which I had been using a paperweight was emitting a high-pitched whine. On close examination, I saw that the orb was actually writhing and shaking on its own. I dare not to go near it. For fear of being possessed, the orb split open like an egg, and the pieces began to roll about. A bright blue light flowed from between the rotating fragments. The blue light expanded like a flash of lightning, and I was temporarily blinded by its brilliance. When I could see again, the orb and all of its pieces were gone, and the room was silent. Wow, that's weird. I know, right? So anyways, what this all comes down to is that I still have no idea where that herb went to, but since you're here, why don't you help me look for it? So, where are we going? Hmm, Gisby's great this time of year. Let's start there. You step into the hot, dry, bustling city of Gisby. Why on earth did you take us here? This place is abominable. Ah, <sighs> it's not so bad. This is technically a pretty good day for old Gisby. I bought the herb in a market around here, and if we're lucky, the man who sold it to me will be here and can tell us something of use. Okay, well let's... No? 
Okay. Grimlord has appear has apparently become enthralled in a bit of street gambling. Two creatures have been placed in the pit, presumably to fight to the death. Isn't this exciting? I haven't seen a worn a good worn fight in decades. Oh please, can we stay? Do whatever you want, ma'am. Grimwold enters the petting the betting pool. Grimwold's Warren Warren Warren? Baron? Got devoured. He loses five rupees. Great. Good job. Hey, this place looks familiar. A small shriveled man sits in the corner. Hello, good sir. <sighs> Excuse me, sir, but do you by any chance remember selling me an orb? This, the man shakes his head. Oh, well, do you know anything about magical orbs? Mm. Is that a yes? My orb was made of stone and started making an odd sound. A high-pitched whine? Yeah, and then? And then it split open? How did you help? The orb of which you speak is not just an orb. It is an eye. An eye? Yes, it is the eye of Nagathi, the great serpent of the underworld. The eye of Nagathi is said to awaken when Nagathi's spirit has arisen. Nagathi awakened? This is terrible news. Terrible, yes. For legend dictates that when Nagathi rises again, the whole world will be thrown into the whole world will be thrown into chaos. Now what are we gonna do? I have a feeling you're not getting your orb slash eye back now. <laughs> That's what you think. You can't be serious. And why not? I quite found all the I quite uh and why not? I was quite fond of the paperweight, and now we know Nagathi's out there. If we don't do something to stop her, we're off. I'll say alright. Alright, why not? It's not like I have much of a choice anyway. That's a spirit? Trying to have an old man voice and it's not working. That looks pretty forebonding, eh? Why don't you- I just turned uh, Canadian. Why don't you be the one to take the first peek? You're the warrior, after all. Fine. Of course. Grimwald! Oh, oh well, this is awkward. I guess you'll have to carry on without me. Don't worry, though. I'm sure I'll find another way in before long. But- So long, Traveler! Grimwald disappears. Presumably searching for another entrance. Of course. Of course we get separated. The tomb is dimly lit. It's hard to see far ahead. The passage narrows. A confusing, spe a confusing spectacle lies ahead. Okay. What the? Set of your foot. <laughs> what? Firmly planting on the floor, you feel yourself being propelled up in the air. So much for gravity. You hear the sound of small wings flapping, approaching you from the depths of the cavern. Three... Demonic imps fly out from the darkness. Oh yes, please dodge. You managed to dodge the brute, but the imp still got a good swipe at your side. Oh no. Draw my weapon, what's up? Two imps fly at you. You missed the first one, but slice the second one in half. You try to stab one of them, but they double team you before you land before double team you before land a single blow. Oh no. Give it your best shot, did you? I didn't save it. Oh wait. I can start. Oh, what a beautiful game. Sweet. What the? To play? That's awesome. to jump in anti gravity feels harder than it looks. Alright. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Alright, let's do this.
go out spin. Yay. You spin around as the last two clothes in, decapitating both of them. Sweet. Free the strange anti-gravity field, you landed safely on the ground. Wow, that's all I had to do was freaking spin this whole time. Great. Song is awesome. It appears you run into the dead end. Now what? Uh, I write with my right hand, so I'll trust that. The surface of the ground feels like it's covered with sand. Great. I bet you it's quicksand. I bet you. Uh oh. The ground falls away beneath your feet, revealing the fiery dust below. Surprisingly, you don't fall with it. Whoopsie. One wrong step and you're toast. Aww. At least you didn't have to pay for the cremation. Oh, jokes. Jokes, good jokes. Okay. It appears you run into the dead end. Oh. I should have went left this time. Oh, yeah. Okay, well this time we'll fly. Yeah, buddy. This is strange. It is strange. You step carefully onto the precipice? Precipice? I don't know. Overhanging the lava. Sweet. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Good. Tell me, little human. Why go out through all this trouble just so you can die? It's pathetic seeing a wealth like you trying to rubble against a god like me. However, I admit you have spirit. I will allow you to serve me so that your life may be spared. Never already. You know, sounds good to me. <laughs> you embrace the darkness, accepting your fate as a slave for the rest of your life. That's great. Nagathi threw the world into chaos and you live the rest of your life as amazing slave. That's awesome. Alright, let's try this again. Oh wait, that might be like the end of this thing. I'm probably gonna die either way. Never! So it is death you have chosen. Pity you have such potential. Wait, can I fly? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. With a deep clang, your, the weapon, your weapon rever what? reverberates over Nagathi's thick hide. Nagathi strikes out at you, but overshoots because of your blunder and misses you entirely. Heck yeah. As she reels back in anger, you prepare for the second strike. Go for the eye. Oh, wait, no! I think I picked the wrong thing. Oh, Nagathi takes advantage of your hesitance and crush you in her jaws. We went the distance but stopped short of the finish line. Oh, I can do this. I can beat this. Let's do this. That reminds me of Super uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, actually. The way it looks and the sound effects. Never! You ready yourself to gouge at the beast's remaining eye. Oh, when the when the Gothi crushes down on you, a massive teeth punctures your body before your weapon can reach her eye. Oh yeah. A valiant attempt, but the Gothi was too strong. Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. I have to though. Unless I start all the way over. I wanna do that. Try one more time, I think. Maybe one more time after this. Maybe I should just run. I wanna fight it. You prepare for the worst and now he rears back her ugly head. Oh, the worst happened. Oops, that was messy. I was said, oh, that was messy. I don't wanna start all the way over though. Maybe I should just run. I'm gonna try to just run. 
and see what happens. I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna die. Again. I think I went back too far. Maybe if I go left. But I think I was supposed to get to Nagafi or whatever, right? I don't know. Okay. song. <laughs> oh, joke. Jeez. Oh, I'm swimming. The armor feels super soft so deep in the water. Toss that drink. I'm Nikki. Oh no, that's not. Swim faster. Oh no! Fish food. This is out of control. I'm gonna do that part again. I might have to go fight Nagafi. That was funny though. Okay, go. Toss that jack. <sighs> I don't think I can do it. Try this one more time. Or maybe not one more time, maybe 8 million more times. At least it saved it. That made me happy. Nagafi cards out in pains. Oh, you really can't hesitate. I can't read it. Oh my gosh. This is out of control. Let's do this, bro. Let's kill Nagathi. Alright, those are just practice rounds, really. Let's get serious. Let's let's do this. Let's get serious. Let's be honest. Let's get serious. Alright, let's do this, bro. Right, let's hurry up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Never! I've said never for the past eight times. Let's do it. You really can't hesitate. Like, you really can't just sit there. That's pretty realistic. Let's do this. That's it. All or nothing. Aw. Although you fought Valena, you were no match for this hungry appetite. Here lies a true hero who charged into battle without thinking twice. Congrats. Oh man, these headstones are funny. Alright. I, I can do this. Okay, so I can't go for it. I have to run. Obviously. We'll do it eventually, right? Now what for this? Now what for this? If you decide to make a run for it, just hands are tail in front of you, blocking your path. Hands are right behind you, complete surrounded, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Grimoire, where are you? 
Oh yeah, Grimwald. Holy sh on a shingle. <laughs> what have you gotten yourself into now? Surprised by Grimwald's sudden appearance, got the Eldritch attack to focus on Grimwald. She dives down her jaws and encases the old man with a sickening gulp. Nagathi swallows Grimwald whole. No! Again, Nagathi readies herself for the final strike, but just then you hear a faint noise from within her gut. Oh yay! You shall not pass! What are you talking about? Yo, Grimwald go hard. As a mother ever. Grimwald. Are you are you alright? Grimwald spits up a mouthful of mucus. That's disgusting. Never felt better, kid. And look, I found my orb. Oh, Grimwald. That's awesome. Hi. Oh, wait, did I beat the game? <laughs> I can't move. Hi. I guess that's it. Is that it? Oh, you push spaces. Skip messages. I'm an idiot. Oh. I think I beat it. I think that's about it. I kind of want to go back though and see the other things. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it though. Okay. Well, that was pretty fun to me. Um, I do like it. I like the music, and I do like the fact that you can pick, you know, obviously that's what a game is, you pick your things. It's fun though, cool. Alright.